Have you ever tried to find a name in a record, but you're not sure of the spelling? You can use a wildcard, which is an asterisk symbol that you can put in the criteria field to help you filter for the name that you're not sure about. Or you can also use it in the find feature. I'll show you both. First of all, the find feature. Let's come up here on the home tab, go to the find group, and we can click on find or use the shortcut keys, control F, brings up the find window. Okay, what do we want to find? Let's say we want to find the customer name Disney Company. Now, I'm not sure if it's spelled with an S or a Z. I know it's right there, but let's pretend. So, I know it begins with the first couple letters DI, and then to help me find whatever comes behind it, go ahead and put in the asterisk or the wildcard, because what it's saying here is that it's got to begin with DI. Anything after it doesn't matter. It's wild. So, let's go ahead and click on Find Next. It found the first one, and you can go ahead and keep on hitting Enter, 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 Enter until it toggles all the way through and it's done with the search, then it says, OK, we're good. Close out of that by clicking OK. Of course, you don't have to use the wildcard when it comes to looking for the first couple of letters in your search. Like, get rid of that. You can, of course, change the match field to the start of the field, DI. Click Find Next. There you go. Goes through it and just highlights DI and Disney Company. And the reason why I showed you the asterisk is because we can go at it at a deeper level. And plus, you can use it in the criteria field not just in the find and replace. So let's go ahead and delete that search and let's use two wildcards. How about asterisk NE asterisk. Now go ahead and pause the video and tell me what you think is going to happen here when I click on find next. Okay, we're back. So what that means is that it doesn't matter what comes before or what comes after, but somewhere in the middle of the name has got to be the letters NE. Go ahead and click on find next. Well, there you go. There's NE. Click Find Next. There's NE. In any case, we can keep doing that in the Find box. But let's go ahead and click Cancel now that we know how to use it in the Find feature. And instead, go to the Design View and put it in the Criteria field. So that way, it filters for it so we don't have to keep on hitting Next, Next, Next and go through a bunch of records, bypassing those that are still sitting there that don't meet that criteria in the Find feature. Where here, if we put it in the Criteria field, it filters out those records that don't meet the criteria. So asterisk NE, close asterisk, or to add the second asterisk at the end, hit the tab key, and then it updates that. It says like, and then in quotes, asterisk NE, and then the last asterisk. Let's come up here, click on view. And so only those names that have NE somewhere in the middle are listed here. Let's see if it checks out. Let's see big news NE and network NE. Oh, there's a double bonus. And then NE for Disney. Let's see, Little Mermaid. Oh, there we go. Cleaners NE. Great. Let's go ahead and click on the View button, go back to the Design View, and let's get rid of that. And now, not only does it work, like let's do DI again, asterisk, and hit the Tab key to say OK. What I'm looking for is got to begin with the letters DI, and then click on View. And there it is, right? Let's go back to the Design View, but it also works at the other end. Let's delete that and say OK. Let's do asterisk, CO, dot, and then hit the tab key. So what it means is that I don't care what comes before it, but it's got to end with the word CO, dot. So let's go ahead and click on the view button. And there we go. This ends with CO, dot. Doesn't matter what comes before, just as long as it ends with those three characters. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel to get notified of the latest videos. And for great specials on my products, please see the description below this video.